cracking onto this, right? I wanted to quickly ask. I wanted to quickly ask. I wanted to quickly ask this question. What do you think happens in like record labels? Like what goes on in record labels? You know, record labels are artists signed to and stuff. Like, what do you think happens in the head office? What gets somebody to make a rubbish decision to decide to rush a music video? that isn't really correct or doesn't really fit the vibe of the tune just to get it out to capitalize on the early buzz. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's regarding this um, song that went viral um, all over Twitter the last few days um, by a little yatty called Poland, right? It's like a little, I think it's 90 minutes long, maybe two minutes long, where he essentially talks about taking Codeine with him to Poland. And it just kind of repeats the same chorus again and again. I took the walk to Poland. I took the walk to poland i took the walk to poland right it goes on and on and on it's pretty catchy um very um earworm kind of qualities to it it doesn't really make much sense it's not really you know amazing in that regard but it does something to you and it just went viral on the internet so pretty cool but the whole premise of the song is taking this very um, sketchy and illegal drug or prescription drug all the way to Poland, right? And the risk that involved with it and the fun times that were had with it. So you would imagine a music video for this would have to be somewhere in Poland. You couldn't do a music video just anywhere else. And for whatever reason, Lil Yachty decided to rush out a video with Lyrical Lemonade, who I think has been a little bit crap over the last few years. I don't think he's kind of been at his best. I think his best work is basic, def not past it, but maybe he's resting on his laurels. Um, what's, what's the guy's name again? I forgot his name, but anyway, you know what I mean, right? The videos haven't been hit in the same way. And I watched him for today, and it's essentially Lil Yachty walking around um, the streets of new york going into the subway and all this sort of stuff and it's like a very new york video because he's on he's on he's on the steps he's in the subway he's on the turnstiles like he's you know engaging with the new york they're not even trying to make it appear like it's poland they're saying no this is new york and he's having a vibe you know wearing cool clothes mucking around doing his thing but the song i feel like warrants him to be in poland so why wouldn't you just wait to get the guy over there i know maybe because it's maybe because of covid maybe maybe that's why they're not they have weren't able to maybe you have to get a visa to go over there it's going to be a long drawn out process or whatever it may be but i think if the song's viral already and it's 90 seconds long or like a, or two minutes long why not just put out a visualizer for the video or maybe get someone to animate a pretty cool video put that out there just to kind of keep people satiated maybe get little yeah to do a dance or whatever and then have the video planning in the background that you're going to go do in poland because the thing that really makes it annoying in terms of how they rushed it was this little update that i saw on rap tv and it says the following Lil Yay has been invited by the Prime Minister of Poland to come and celebrate the track. Now, I don't know if this is true because Rap TV, this account on Twitter, tends to kind of sometimes troll and sometimes, you know, fall around and whatnot. But if this is true and this has somehow garnered or kind of, you know, um, got caught the attention of people that live in Poland and stuff and they want to use this as an opportunity to maybe, you know, maybe kind of increase the tourism um, out there in a the country, especially with, with Americans who probably have no idea where Poland is on the map then this would be a great time to do a music video. You go over there, you hang out with the prime minister, um, you go and see their local sites. And imagine it just would be him just getting a tour of Poland while his fans come up to him and stuff. And he's walking around, going to local clubs, going to sneaker stores that they have there, hanging out with maybe some local artists and the song's just playing in the background. That is a video. That would be so much better than the video they have now with him walking around flipping New York like stunning acts and course like the song has nothing to do with new york like go to fucking poland why not just do that i don't get these record labels i don't get these executives it doesn't make any sense like why rush a video that is so um location specific and just just for the sake of it to get out because i don't think they're gonna lose any views personally if they wait a couple of weeks for him to go to poland and come back um but maybe he's got a tour planned maybe again maybe covid restrictions are gonna throw a spanner in the works but in general i just think well, if, that's the hard thing if you're creative and you're an actual pure artist most likely you look yeah you probably wanted to go to poland to go do the video but then you get convinced by your label to kind of seize the moment to take control of all that sort of stuff and not do that blah 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 and then suddenly here you are you know doing a music video that is titled for a song that's titled poland in the fucking streets of new york that makes absolutely no sense it really is weird man but anyway <laughs> Someone said in the comments, Eddie D said Kanye's unreleased finished tracks are better than all of Lil Yachty's catalogue. Now nah, you're bugging, man. Lil Yachty's um first album that I was playing actually today. What was it? I was playing this in the gym. 
what they have here um little boat was really good man that was a really good album um I put, you know, features with Skipper the Flipper who you don't really hear from that that many times. Anymore. I think he might actually be retired. One Night was an amazing track. Minnesota, like two of those big, big tracks on that album, man, that really did a good, that, that really went a good, a, a good way to kind of define that sound in that era. And those are tunes that he could live off of still to this day. Do you know what I mean? So I don't agree with that. I don't think um he's as bad as people make it seem as. And to be honest, he's probably one of the most improved rappers out there, to be fair, because he holds his own when he goes and does, and does these tapes with these Detroit artists and whatnot who are like lyrical to the core and he definitely holds his own with all the stuff that they're talking about so i'm a big fan of little yeah completely really 